Okay, thank you for everyone. Uh, actually, I, I have, I'm supposed to make two parts, but I, I'm uh, just going to make one part for all my presentation. So I'm, uh, here, I'm going to present a stem cell derived isotomy scheme. Uh, actually, uh, as far as I know, there uh, might be uh, 100 uh, exosome startups. Uh, most of them are focusing on cancer or cancer diagnosis, something like that. Uh, but Escobio is uh, maybe the first and only uh, regenerative uh, company focusing on regenerative aesthetics based on stem cell derived exosomes. So, exosomes, as you know, are a very important mechanism of cell to cell communication, uh, which contains a lot of important. Uh, uh, growth factors or cytokines and other uh, ingredients inside. So they are very important for intercellular or interpersonal uh, communication also. So uh, after secreted by stem cells, exosomes are supposed to enter uh, skin cells or immune cells uh, for skin or tissue regeneration and or immunomodulation. So uh, I try to give a simple concept. Uh, botulinum toxin is the a strongest life killer in the world. In the meantime, uh, stem cell derived exosome is the strongest life saver. So, uh, for exosome production, we start from stem cell culture from healthy donors, and we get uh, conditioned media. And from the conditioned media, we ultra uh, filtrate exosomes. Uh, so, in terms of protein amount, uh, let's say you have 100% uh, of protein in the conditioned media, we use only uh, less than 0.1% uh, of exosome. After isolation or purification, we do profiling uh, the internal contents of exosome. So we found that more than 100 growth factors or some people say there are more than 200 uh, growth factors or cytokines inside. So with uh, our exosome, uh, we try to uh, prove uh, exosome, the effect of uh, exosomes on our skin. So when we treated exosomes uh, with skin cells, such as keratinocyte or fibroblasts, uh, those cells uh, usually uptake exosomes to do something, such as uh, exosomes can promote uh, skin cell proliferation or increase collagen synthesis or increase elastin synthesis too. And we found that exosomes is very effective for anti-inflammatory effect uh, to improve autophic dermatitis. Uh, on the right part, you can see uh, our own publication uh, that exosomes can alleviate autophic dermatitis. So we have done a study with a uh, house dust mite uh, model. And then when we treated uh, those mice with exosomes, uh, exosome could successfully and significantly improved the skin conditions. <laughs> and you found that uh, multiple targets are repressed or down-regulated by exosomes, such as uh, IL-31 or IL-4. And then uh, one of the most important findings is uh, exosome can uh, reconstruct skin barrier. Uh, this is unpublished data, and maybe this year we're going to publish uh, when we tried to uh, test an oxazolone treatment model, uh, our isosome could successfully reduce the TWA, uh, trans epidermal water loss. And in the meantime, uh, exosome could uh, increase hydration in skin. So we tried to find the MOA, and we found that uh, exosome could uh, increase the amount of one of the key repeats, such as ceramide. And then we, uh, another finding was that there are a lot of uh, enzymes for repeat synthesis inside exosomes. So uh, we believe that uh, AS, AS exosome uh, in, inhibits the vicious cycle of atopic dermatite in three ways uh, to uh, prevent itching and inflammation and uh, rebuild skin barrier together. And we have a proof concept that exosome could, uh, might be very helpful for hair growth. And we identified uh, 10 plus growth factors for hair follicle. And 
human HTTP cell easily uptakes exosomes too. And then uh, those cells uh, uh, had start, uh, started to, pro to proliferate. And ba based on those uh, findings, we, we are trying to commercialize those technology into uh, our first product, uh, ASC Plus, which is uh, next generation regenerative aesthetics. And we, uh, uh, this ASC Plus has uh, a lot of uh, exogen particles, such as 5 billion exogen particles inside, in addition to other ingredients. And it's, it's kind of major therapy. And this is a clinical uh, proof of concept for acne scar. And uh, this is uh, another uh, case on atopic dermatitis. And interestingly, we applied our exosomes topically, and we uh, do uh, we did ion process, and then it was very effective uh, for atopic dermatitis conditions. And the patient stopped using steroids for a while. So, in summary, we believe exosomes could be a uh, next generation uh, technology in terms of regenerative aesthetics. And uh, it's a key, one of the key uh, innovations uh, would be uh, ASC exosomes. Mm -hmm.